Hey guys, Nick Gerosos, and welcome to the new hit series, How to Fight Like Cobra Kai. What we're going to be doing in this series is we're going to be doing fight analysis. I'll be taking fight scenes from the show, breaking them down, and teaching you how to defend yourself. But before we start, make sure to subscribe, to hit the bell, smash that like button, and if you want to learn more self-defense, go visit my website, nickjoseph.com. Now let's get started. Alright guys, so right now we're starting, this is what typical bar fights look like. So the attackers face to face. The first thing right now, Johnny should be having his hands up. When you're faced uh, with an attacker, and we're going to be looking at this later in the lesson, is how to keep your hands up and manage your space and distance. Probably one of the most important things that I'm going to teach you in this lesson. Um, you, The second thing that is very important to remember is that right here. You see the finger pointing. This is a big no-no. From there, he can sucker punch you, he can grab you, he could strike your throat. Anytime you see an attacker's hands up, you want to bring your hands up as close as to his hands where he can't get that leverage to grab you or try to sucker punch you. From there, again, manage your space, manage your distance. As you can see, right there, he goes to grab him. Now, this move where he grabs the wrists and kind of like twists it over. Very unlikely for you to be able to trap that hand and twist. Again, you see from here, he grabs the earring and rips it off. Fine motor skill. Very unlikely to be able to pull this out in full speed. But let's continue with the fight scene. I love this, right? He saw the punch coming. He struck him. I really like the backhand. Again, closest weapon to closest target. Nice push kick, create distance. He starts, again, this is what, you know, bar fights look like. You have weapons, pool stick, pool balls, all kinds of different weapons are gonna come to play. Right there, you see a tackle. He pushes him off and lands a strike. I probably would have went for a knee in close quarter. Sidekick, again, you see the blocking, the striking, elbows. This is what bar fights look like. Again, I think that there's a little bit too much distance. A little, you know, you see a little bit of those side kicks and round kicks. Um, again, depending on the distance that you have, I'm not a, a big kicker. Um, I do like, however, how they're using their environment over here. We're looking at how he's using it, the environment to push them and throw them. Again, crescent kick, back kick, punching, trapping. I mean, this is what bar fights look like. You have all kinds of different weapons that are going to come in uh, again, being smashed in a chair, being pulled. There's one scene I really like. Over here, we're looking at a defense against a choke. But this scene is what I really like, is that he picks up that beer, that glass, and smashes it over his head. Again, there's always improvised weapons, always weapons around that you can use. So guys, what I'm gonna be teaching you in this lesson is how to manage your space, how to bring up your hands, how to make sure to go preemptive or defend that center line or any strike that comes around. So let's get started. All right guys, so one thing I definitely know a lot about is bar fights. Working in security for many years, I saw a lot of these fights happen. Now the first thing um, when it comes to being in a bar, and we often see this where the guy come in my face, the attacker's like right here. Now this is a big no-no, right? Again, I've seen this actually happen standing in security where they're both face to face. The instant you're in this range, guess what? Anybody could head headbutt anybody and end the fight in a second. So one of the first and most important things in a bar or any kind of attack or fight is managing your space and distance. So that's the first one. So if Costa is in here and he's talking to me, the first thing I want to do is I got to step back. So all I'm going to do from here is take a step back and create some distance between me and him. Again, when I'm here, I'm vulnerable for him to, to, to hit me with a headbutt. I'm also vulnerable if he decided to grab me, bear hug me, do whatever and come here. I'm vulnerable because I'm too close into range. Again, I also have the advantage. I could also headbutt him as well, but it's a 50-50 chance. So you wanna manage that space and that distance. The second most important lesson is understanding how to create your distance, but at the same time, bring up your hands. So I'm gonna show you three natural fighting stands that allow you to go offensive and defensive and be able to maximize 
that range in that space so you can either defend or counter. So the first one is, and I, I used to teach this one as well to security, is bring up your hands this way. So if I'm here and I'm doing this, I'll start bringing up my hands like this. So it's very close, it's not out. I'm keeping my hands up that if Costa went to grab me, my hands are always up, go again. My hands are up already. So as I'm talking to him, I'm moving with my hands, right? So, wait, so I'm just doing this. From there, at any point, I could cross my arms. Once I cross my arms, I'm doing this. I go from here to here where my hands are up. So from there, I can strike. If he went to like grab my shirt, my hands are up. If he went around for the back of my neck, my hands are always up here to block. At the same time, don't move. At the same time, if he's here and I need to strike, I can strike the throw. I could come up with an elbow. I could hammer fist. I could hit low. So this from here to here. What I would normally do working in the clubs, once I thought that shit might hit the fan and that I'm gonna have to take this guy out, I would transfer from here to here. So my hands would come up a little bit higher as I'm talking to him. Why, again, I'm covering my center line. If he tries to grab me with one hand, just go with one hand, tries to grab me, my hands are always up to block, to intercept. If he was even trying to go around the back of my neck, my hands are always up. So this is called the Benny stance. At the same time, by keeping my hands up here, I'm open for a hammer fist, low strike, palm strike, throat strike, all from a natural position. This is the key, guys. I don't wanna to get to the point where I'm here and I'm fighting him here. I wanna be able to finish the fight from here to here to here and Let's say you push, push me now. Let's say he pushes me. Now I go into my passive stance. So both hands parallel. Now I start talking to him. He starts moving around. I'm talking to him. I'm keeping my distance. I'm covering all my angles. At any point I can finger jab, strike the throat. My hands are always up. That is probably one of the most important things that I would want you to get out of this lesson. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to learn more self-defense, go visit my website, nickjoseph.com. Make sure to subscribe, to hit the bell, and I'll see you guys next week.